<laughs> What's up, dudes? Orange juice, probably not a good idea to drink it, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, that's awesome. I drove all the way home to see you guys and your beautiful mom, who's not very clothed right now, so we're going to keep her off camera. I love you. Uh, wow. Pterodactyls. In the mailman doesn't come till later, dude. You got to keep that door closed because uh, baby Kai can get out. Okay, let's go make you uh, some cereal. Me now? Uh, yeah, milk, cereal, whatever. I said the wrong word. I said the wrong word. I'm sorry. Got something fun coming in the mail today for the big truck. Oh, what? What is this doing here? I don't know what that's doing there. Yeah, no, so, no. they're good? Yeah. Well, thanks for calling, truck and wife. I'm sorry, I look so ratchet. Oh, you don't look ratchet. They're beautiful. I can't wait, 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 wait. I'm going to go. Give me a kiss. <laughs> now get upstairs and play with your underwear on because you got all dirty playing with sand. Fun Crazy sand. boy. <laughs> All right, got to get going. It was rough getting a load today, guys. Um, and here's an email I got from <clears throat> good old C.H. Robinson, man. Every now and then they kind of just go off on you and tell you that. I'm going to grab some poison first. Da, 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 da. I don't drink Miller Lite, but it seems like that's the new beer of choice. I like Coronas, but we're almost out. And then father-in-law likes the good old uh, Bud Lights. And we started stocking Yoohoo's again. Capri Suns and, of course, body armor for truck and wife. And then Red Bulls, but I'm not a fan. Yeah, so we had... Uh, C.H. Robinson broker. I'll kind of show you this email thread. It just blows my mind how they think that it's just... I don't know. That they can tell you that that's not how business is done. This is how it works. There's no way that it works. You just tell them what you want to pay for it. And then uh, that is it. Let's jump in old red. And it comes right by the house, so I'll get it back. But... Delivers tonight, so. Oh, man. It's a rough morning now, Cap. I hate being on my phone all morning. I just walked through a spider web. I hope the spider's not on me. And uh, trying to book loads, but hey. What you gotta do? These run. Uh, I think they're three. I got all the bills. Three there. grand. Yeah. No, three hundred. I was gonna say three grand. It's a little bit for the full set. All for the full set was three hundred. Just, just the front two. Yeah. Then I think the backs were five or six. So this is my neighbor down the street for the YouTube channel, and uh, he's rhino lining these things. He bought this thing stripped from Copart, and so it's his daughter's project. And we might, if I can get my compressor going, we might do some things for their doors because you don't need to add them right now, right? Yeah. You can add them whenever. Because I'll get it going next month or two. Those body armor pieces are separate. Okay, so it's actually you're going to add them to it. It's not the magnetic ones. That are but you can take them off. As long as you can take them off, I can put them on the table and cut them. But yeah, he's going to rhino line these like a, not a military green, but like a lighter green. Yeah, kinda. Sure yeah. <laughs> yeah that's cool. Well, he's going to show us that paint. But uh, yeah, they got this thing uh, stripped out of Pennsylvania. It's a 17. And I've been seeing him work on it. And I've been kind of asking him. So I had to stop and ask him, like, what is this thing? Like, what are you doing with it? Because I thought they stripped it, but they bought it stripped. And they're rebuilding it. So yeah, they just uh, had some work done on one of the doors was dented a little bit. And. Can't wait to see the ending product. Of course, I'll bring it to you guys. This is like a. Uh, yeah, they don't call it. They call it gray green. And do you have to mix it with anything, or you just spray? Uh, you actually just like Rhino Line system. They have the base, uh -huh. the uh, hardener, and the color. And you put. So I'm gonna have to talk to you about that. There's a shit screw in the color. There you go. So then just spray it out there, fat, and get it on. Well, that's cool, man. Can't wait to see the finished product. Of course, I'll bring it to my YouTube. Uh, Viewers, but yeah, this Jeep, I've always wondered, so I had to stop today. I was like, what is he doing to this thing? I <laughs> see he's just working on it every now and then. Pretty clean stuff. 17, nice. Yeah, well, it got dirty from the shot. That's awesome. But yeah, he, uh, she wants to do, his daughter wants to do like a star. They have these metal, what are they called, body armors? Yep, yeah, body armors. Body armor seats, and they want to put those on the doors, so. They were on, the, we have a Facebook page for our uh, community and they're like, anybody got a plasma? And there, there were some people were like, I think this guy is. <laughs> so I chimed in, I was like, yeah. So they want to cut, that's not too thick either. I can cut that easy. So they want like a nice star right in the middle. So we just have to find a starting point and it'll cut it out easy. Cool, there you go. Well, sweet man, what was your name again? Paul. Paul, nice to meet you, man. <laughs> it's, it's, I will see the finished product when it comes. Yeah, and he good. also painted that fridge with a rattle can. Doesn't that look good? I could never get those results. We just had the right temperature. Yeah, buddy.
Where were you on this day 19 years ago? Flags are flying half mass. I was uh, just about to leave my dorm room in University of Arizona to go to my first class for the day. Came out of the shower and uh, for some reason I had my TV on and, and it was like a regular, it was ESPN or something in my dorm room and it, it switched over to the, and the second plane hit as I was watching it. So, uh, blessings and thoughts and uh, thoughts and T's and P's, as Pat McAfee would say. T's and P's, thoughts and prayers. Anybody who lost somebody or was related to somebody who died that day, um, either on a plane or in the actual wreckage. So, <sighs> crazy day, and it's it's actually my truck and wife's brother's birthday today. What a, what, a, what a day to have a birthday, right? But yeah, thoughts and prayers to them. We're heading through Greenville. That was just downtown Greenville right there before we passed through those flags. That was Main Street. We're heading up to Hendersonville. It's about 45 miles away from my house. Picking up some, uh, I've done this load once before for like $1,100, but this time uh, I just offered $1,550 on it and they took it. So we, and it's a straight through. I just go deliver it down there to 24 seven facility in uh, Augusta, Georgia, which is about 90, 95, 100 miles from my house in the south. So we'll get that done tonight. I'll go home play with babies and put them to sleep and then I'll just it, sometimes it, it took them like two hours last time so hopefully it takes them two hours this time and um, I'll just sleep there if it does take them a long time and whenever they're done I can come on back but yeah let's get up the get up the mountain I don't I'm not hungry just ate a sandwich at the house so I'm not gonna stop at the Sphinx but man do I love that Sphinx off 25 heading up to Henderson now. but this is downtown Greenville for anybody that uh, has never been here the actual children's museum is right there to the right that we take our, our boys to. Awesome place. Got like a little music room in there, everything. Right. So going back with what that email said, if you ever get a email from a broker telling you how the business works and how it goes, uh, disregard it. They're just trying to go back to the playbook, but playbook needs to be thrown out. If you want to use your truck as an asset and make as much as you can, then uh, hold for the end of the day and something will pop up, just like today. Uh, the load I was trying to get from Coyote was going up to Baltimore, and I was trying to get it for about 25, 26. Delivered Monday, so I could just put it on the truck, and it was picking up across the street from my house. Literally, I come out the entrance to my park, there's a factory off to the right, and it was going to Domino's Pizza's like headquarters, so... Uh, we've been on all day, and they were always just coming back at like uh, $1,200, $1,300. And then coming down when it passed the 1 o'clock deadline for pickup, uh, they finally bumped it to $2,100. Here's that picture right here. And at this point, I was about, um, I said, I'll do it for 24. That's what I told him. And then I had my new rep with Cowdy. Um, I emailed him and said, hey, if you can try to get this for 24, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to be staying home and going to the pool. So I kept looking on the app for something to change. Five minutes goes by. Ten minutes goes by. I emailed him. I'm like, hey, what's going on with this? He says, I don't know. Um, I haven't heard back. So in the meantime, I look back on the app, and uh, Cowdy has another one pop up. Two other ones pop up, actually. One was forget where it was going but um, the one that I'm on now popped up also and it was like 1100 for 1100 and something and then uh, I just bid fifteen fifty, and they accepted it right away so just I don't know proves my just proves my theory don't listen to these like the email from before know your worth and um, stick to your guns and, and you have to have the mindset of if I don't get something I'm just gonna stay home if you have to be at home or if you don't if you're at a good market just have the mindset of like uh, after two o'clock, three o'clock, just it's okay. You didn't get anything. All those loads will bounce till the next day. Somebody might take them, but if everyone can get on the same page out here as another operator and play the same cards, uh, it'll it'll help out everyone. So it's not again, it's not about competing against your fellow driver, your fellow business owner. It's about helping each other and, and bringing these rates up, being the asset. Let people that are company drivers, nothing against them, not knocking anybody out there as a company driver, but. These companies need some stuff moved, and that's when we come into play as owner-operators. You shouldn't just be an extension of a company driver and pulling their stuff for a little bit over what they're already getting into it for 
in our own driver and our own trucks and our own trailers, you have to make a significant more amount to pay for your time and everything you've done to set up this company and maintain your, your uh, equipment. So I hope that makes sense. But let's get up this pretty mountain, get to this Kimberly Clark. Uh, and truck and wife, as you saw earlier, she was calling them for me. I gave them the contact information while I was putting my clothes on and said, hey, can you call them and see if they can... Uh, how late they'll be loading because it was a one o'clock appointment. It was that book to load like almost two o'clock. So she got a phone with them and they said, yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, they, she gave the pickup number and uh, they said, yeah, you can get here anytime. So open window, but we're going to try and get there as soon as possible. Get back down the house, have some dinner with the kids, and then I'll head down there later on tonight to Augusta and uh, deliver to them because it's delivered till midnight. So we'll get there probably 10, 10 p.m. or so. But uh, yeah, let's get up this mountain. And there we have it on the right, Kimberly Clark. Make a lot of paper products, paper towels, paper uh, plates, I believe, toilet paper, all that kind of stuff. Been up here probably a half dozen times. And we have to take this little S turn. And if you ever come here and you're picking up, well, pretty much picking up or dropping off, it's on the back side. Just disregard all these front entrances right here and go all around the back. There'll be a little tiny driveway. I'll keep the video going so you can see it. But this is 32 Smythe Road or Drive, I believe it's called. It's not Smith, it's Smythe. Do, do, do. And it's 88 degrees up here. It's still a hot one, but it's supposed to be 80% chance of rain tomorrow, so thunderstorms. So we're definitely pushing some hot air past before that rain comes in. Yeah, you'll see the signs that did it say no trucks, so that's but then the next one you don't really know is that where you're supposed to go or what. Truck entry, quarter mile north, docks one to six. Watch out for people on horseback. Still need to come up here and go horseback riding. Should probably do that next month or two before it gets a little too chilly. But if it's 88 degrees, I'm not going to really want to do it then either. Get this uh, hot air out of here. All right, so right here. First time I ever came here, I kind of went past this. But you don't want to go past this. You want to take it right here. Some drive right here. All trucks, very small letters on it. 10 mile an hour sign. See all the drop and hook trailers. And this is Hendersonville, North Carolina, right across the border of South Carolina. And go past the drop trailer, you'll see that little turn up there, and it'll be a gate on the rides. When I get home, I should have something. UPS is supposed to be delivering a little. Uh, pillar mount for my uh, Mini Max programmer for that truck. It was kind of like on a suction cup thing and just looked kind of rigged up so I wanted to buy like a custom one that held it so maybe we can put that in before we have to deliver this tonight. We shall see. So if you're booking loads like I'm doing it which is the way you get the most money for your truck you're gonna have a lot of last minute stuff so it's frustrating at times but it's 100 miles for $1,550 so I'll take it. Or 50, yeah, 15, 50. But, um, like a truck and wife called earlier, when she just got the phone, we were talking to her and, uh, just had her call this place because sometimes they'll receive all night, but they won't ship. Sometimes shipping departments close earlier, they close like a four or five. So, this place they said, don't worry about it, they're open 24 7. So, I said, all right. But the yard jockey, normally when you come here, you park right here, you just stay off to the right, but those two bobtails are sitting there, so I don't want to block them in. So I stayed in the middle and uh, Power Trip Yard Jockey came by and said, you can't park there, you're blocking the access road. And I was like, all right. It's like back into one of these doors. Back into one of these. I said, sure, buddy. So I backed in way out of the way over there. And uh, we'll walk our happy butt way up here and get a door. And he said, it's going to take me a while to get a door open for you anyways. So no problem, man. 
No problem. It's paying good, so I can chill as long as you need me to. I've been here before, but they've been pretty quick. It takes them two, three hours normally. Hopefully, they can get it on in 45 minutes, but looks like it's not going to be that way. But yeah, moral of the story call, make sure they're open. Don't drive 45 miles up here just to be told, hey, they closed at five, because it's only four, though. So I just want to make sure they were okay with four o'clock, because on the Raycon, the appointment was at one o'clock, but I booked it at two o'clock. So you're going to get a lot of that last minute stuff, but it pays, so we're doing. Go sit down at the bottom of the hill. I'll call you whenever we get a door open. Um, I would put you in door one, but it's kind of finicky with like how the truck backs into it. Is it that first one over there? Yeah. I've done it before. Um, just give me like 30 minutes and I'll get you in the door. Okay? All right, boo. Thank you. So 30 minutes we're looking at. Uh, the door she's talking about, it's right on the guardrail. It is pretty tight, but I, if you've watched back about two months ago, I think it was, I took this load. And I even said it's a real tight fit, but I made it happen. So we'll end up this video here. I'll wait my 30 minutes or more until I get a door. And then they're pretty quick once they hit you in a door because you can see it's just like big plastic. I don't know what it's what, it, what it's called, but uh, it's not whatever they're using it down for. It's like Augusta area. There's a huge plant, so they obviously need this stuff down there that they make. So this is the door that they probably have had some people hit. You see the guardrails all beat up, and this guardrail's brand new, so someone probably took it out. But I put it in there, no problem. Someone's got their landing gear still out, but whatever. We'll get it done. Old factory, old brick. But God bless everybody. Uh, it's sunshine, it's a great day. We're all breathing, having fun. Hope you are too. Remember this day uh, in 2001. It was a sad morning that, that day, but uh, we'll keep moving. Please sign up for the uh, giveaway. There's a little link down beep, right here. Click that little arrow thing. It'll bring down a description page. And then you go to that link and it will uh, let you enter the giveaway. It's a dash cam 500. It's a real nice Randy McNally dash cam. If you look it up, about 200 bucks plus $100 cash. So that's what we're giving away this month. I think it's the first week, last week of this month, first week of next month of October that we'll do whatever Saturday Night Live falls on. That's when we'll give it away. So we will do that. And uh, yeah, click the link, do that. And if you would could please, the way to enter the, the giveaway, please subscribe, like a video, uh, share a video. If you're already subscribed, just share a video or go to Facebook, sign up there, share it somewhere so we can get some exposure and build the channel. Hey, God bless. I think we're gonna get a door a little sooner than later. Ernest out here is having a heart attack that my truck's not backed into a spot. I'm trying to stay in the shade. He's a, he's a little, little feisty. Door one, thank you. So I just had a little run in with the yard jockey. Like I said, he uh, came back over to me. And uh, every time I've come here, I've come here a half dozen times. You pull in right here on the left side and stay off the side. Right where that forklift's at. Right when I parked right there, he came up to me. Can't park here. This is the express lane. But he had a little, a little bit of an attitude. So there he is right there. Poor guy. He's not having a good day. But, um, so I parked off over here, but I put my truck nose in the shade between all these trailers that are outbound that won't need to be picked up. So <sighs> try to be nice to them. You're going to do it. How you doing, bud? Good, man. Uh, he just, some of these yard jockeys, I don't know if they got their CDLs taken away or what happened, but poor guys, he's just has it out for people. And I didn't want to block these two guys. So I went back over there and got in that shade. And uh, he proceeded to tell me I'm going to have to leave, <laughs> go out, and park in the drop lot <laughs> and wait for, for him to call me. And so I just walked into the shipping office and said, hey, Ernest out here is having a heart attack about me parking in the shade, so can we get a door? And she said, yeah, sure, just back in the door one. So that same door that I ever backed into before. So <sighs> it's, it's the trucking industry. I get it, but it's frustrating at times when you're just trying to get some shade, but people have a power trip to drive a two axle yard jockey truck. So frustrating but hey just go to this go to the shipping office they want to get this stuff moved don't let security or the yard jockey tell you what to do go to their superiors in the shipping office or the superior supervisor of the whole plant talk to them and that's how you get it done